Okay, here it is. Please tell me it's gonna fit. Oh, thank God. Now that is a satisfying sight to see. Shelby was kind of upset because the house was not upset, but you know, just really wanted to clean earlier before she had to go to work. Because the house is just kind of messy. And um, that's one thing I wanted to do when she was at work. I was like, you know what? Most of the mess is like around my computer desk area anyways. I'm like, I'm gonna clean it up really nice for her. Surprise her when she gets home, have dinner done, clean house. And this just ruined, like, I think that's why I was so frustrated. I was like, cause this is gonna make it look, you know, a thousand times nicer in here and more organized. And I can't even do that now, but it's all good now. I'm gonna go ahead and get working on this thing again. Perhaps not soon enough. The house is a mess. You shouldn't be saying this shit, but... <sighs> Watching Ozark, by the way. So I've got the desk kind of like, I mean, it's built, I'll, I'll say that. Um, I'm happy to report that we finally have a desk that our chair slides under that. That alone sucked about the other one. Look how tall it is. Like, it's up to my waist, you know? It's a really tall desk. Like, when you're sitting down, you're, you're typing pretty high. That was probably a horrible thing to, sh like, horrible way to show it, but whatever. Um, but it's, like, super thick. It's, like, this thick. It's not thick wood. It's not, like, solid wood, though. It's just, like, particle board, and, you know, it's all hollow. So it's super cheap. But, like, because of how thick it is... My computer chair has got armrests. It's never fit under there. And it's a nice chair. Like, it's a pretty thick leather one. You know, it reclines, goes up and down and all that. Or no, I'm sorry. I completely lied. Height-wise, I forgot. It's been a while. It's been, it's been a rough day. Remember, I had to steal that, uh, that little pallet nut thing. I had to take one out of there. But, um, so anyways, you know, there was obviously a bar here, too. It wouldn't fit like width wise it would hit these you can see we we're always bumping into it this desk is so worn out like look at that some of that's dust but like it's just in such bad shape like i mean it was a good desk don't get me wrong you know for the price but just wasn't really a sturdy computer desk especially when you got the big heavy 27 inch you know imac on it those things are bricks and then yeah so just kind of sucked but at the time it was good um Hi, Bailey. She's just like, what's up, guys? I like this open space. But I got this sitting right here for now. And I'm not... I love the desk. Don't get me wrong. The desk is cool, but I wish one side was longer, I guess, in a sense. I didn't realize when I measured. Um, it gives you measurements for this piece and this piece. So I was like, okay, cool. You know, one side's longer. I was hoping one side was going to stick out way less. And I was going to put it right here and have it coming out right here you know and have their food dishes and stuff right here like we normally do but you know i think it would actually look a little bit better but with the way this little entrance to the kitchen is set up it would come out to like you know you see right here so it would come out to like here and then like we've got a shelf you know and a wall and stuff right here and i do apologize about the mess seriously i swear our house doesn't look like this normally i just got i've got everything like bunched up in piles that's normally you know in a in a spot i guess per se but yeah so like it comes out farther than i thought um and i don't hate it for that like i actually i like how how even it is i guess in a sense but i wish i had a corner to put it in i guess is what i should be saying and it just obviously in the spot it's in it doesn't really work that great but i moved our table over i got rid of that i moved that lamp this one right here I moved that, that was behind our table, back here by this old air conditioner that doesn't work. That's actually another thing I wanna get done. That's a, like a built-in air conditioner. It's like a window one, but it's built into the wall. And it's like a 240 volt one. It's like a re really, really powerful one. That thing would keep our entire house cool. That one right there, it was, it was really nice when it worked, but it's just so ungodly ugly. And it actually died on us like, I want to say like three years ago it died on us like the plug started smoking and come to find out like there was water dripping into that outlet and stuff like that so it just kind of ruined the whole thing which i wasn't mad about anyways because it's hideous it's super ugly but if i take it out of the wall then you know there's just literally a wide open hole going outside so 
I've never gotten around to it, but I'm gonna frame it out this year, I think. That way I, I can at least throw up like a sheet of drywall. And you'll you'll know it was there, but it's not gonna look like a 1980s fake wood Kenmore air conditioner. Yeah, anyways, though, so in front of that, I had that random lamp. We never even use it, but I just had it over there just because there was really nowhere else to put it. So I moved the table over a little bit. And we have plenty of room for the table. Like our table's big enough for like probably five or six people to eat comfortably, but there's four ta four chairs. Um, and there's plenty of room to slide it over where I got it right now. And you know, still have plenty of room in the living room without looking crowded or anything. And it works, like you actually have more room now because this chair pushes in and it, or because the chair didn't push in on that other desk, the chair was always sticking out and like, going between the computer desk and the table you know you had to like kind of like go sideways to get to the bathroom so theoretically like we have more room now um i gotta if i keep the table there i gotta move the chandelier over a little bit um i'll have to buy some more uh some more of the chain that's no big deal i just i don't know like i don't hate it but like it just it's out of place you know what i mean um, I think, because right now I've got the the Mac on the outside, because right, the, when I set it up, I had it the other way where the Mac was against the wall and the other side of the desk was coming out because the monitor I'm getting is going to be smaller than that, so I think it'll look less cluttered. But I just don't know. Like, I'm already mad because I had to drive and go buy parts for it. And then I put it together. It looks like a nice desk, don't get me wrong. It's, you know, it's it's an $80 desk. After I build it, you know, it, it really sticks out that it's an $80 desk, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't have a huge capacity. Like, it was a joke. Like, you gotta build it upside down, obviously, because you gotta do all the hardware on the bottom side. But as soon as you go to flip it over, like, you gotta, you need like three people to like support it, because otherwise it just wants to like completely bend and break. So I don't know, you know, I ended up getting it by myself, but. And then I kind of thought, hmm, it would look kind of cool. Now, I don't know if it would look cool, but I was like, I could move the table over here and then put the computer desk like over by where that air conditioner is. That's an option, but I don't know. And I hate, I hate moving it around because I feel like I'm gonna break something. And then if I do move it around, I gotta shuffle the table over, the pile of stuff, you know, over. So it's just like, oh man, I just wanna be done. I wanna play some games. Um, I actually flipped these upside down. If you remember my other video, I've complained. They, like the light parts, these were facing down. And I didn't realize you could literally just grab them and like literally spin them around. Because uh, it's not like, you can see like my head height. I bump into it. Oops. You can see the, like my head height, you know, it's right there. So it's not that high. It's only about maybe three foot above the table maybe a little over and having those lights like aimed down at the table like it was just it was way too much that's why you see in a lot of videos like a couple of them we usually have the bulbs unscrewed like this one it's not on right now but the other four are we literally have to do that because otherwise if you're sitting at the table you're like it's too much but then with it off it's not bright enough you know so i flip those up and the light on the table is so soft now like i love it i'm I'm more excited about that than getting this desk done, but uh, I think I'm gonna play around, kind of move it around a little bit. I wish our bathroom door wasn't right there. Like our bathroom door and this window make it so hard to like coordinate furniture in here. And if I put the chandelier like directly where it mounts or whatever, I would have, you know, like this would be a walkway over here right where this wall is. And then I would have more room over there and I think it would look less cluttered, but at the same time, I think it would look kind of weird. So I don't know. I'm gonna play around with it. I apologize. You know, you guys are probably like, I don't give a shit, just let's see it. But okay, here we go. All right, I think I have it. And again, please ignore the mess. I got stuff piled everywhere down here. Um, so I did what I thought, what I said I was just gonna do. Um, I moved it in front of that air conditioner and because of like the way the fireplace kind of sticks out and stuff, like I'm not gonna say it blends in because it doesn't, but like it doesn't stick out as bad as it did having it just on that like flat plain wall. 
I definitely got to move the chandelier. Like that's right in a walkway right now. Uh, so that would be my next project, but that doesn't take too long. I just got to unscrew that thing and, you know, screw it in somewhere else. But I moved the table kind of like centered a little, mostly centered under, you know, where the chandelier like wiring is or whatever. And I actually kind of like, like, I don't know, like I'm, I'm indifferent about it. Like I, I really didn't like it at first, but then like I looked at it for a few minutes, I kind of just sat down. I'm not going to lie. I was like, man, I'm tired of this shit. I just want to play my damn game. But like, I don't hate it. Like the more I look at it, the more I kind of like it. Like it makes the dining room feel like an actual dining room. And cause it's, it's wide open in here, you know, like you got living room over here and then dining room right here. I don't know, like I don't hate it. What do you guys think? And again, like it's super messy and you know, I gotta, the table was like over here to put it in perspective. Like I even had to move this farther over if I was gonna put that there. So I moved the table over here. There's plenty, there's like four or five foot between the table and the wall. I've got like my wide angle lens on right now so you can't really get the best perspective. But then the desk over here and it just, it kind of hides that air conditioner obviously again i gotta clean up like everything is so cluttered right now but almost hit the damn <laughs> chandelier again i swear i'm waiting for that thing to fall because i've hit my head so many times and uh i mean the desk like obviously it sticks out but like i think i would put the mac on this side and then the gaming monitor right here um but like i don't hate it i really don't hate it I don't know, but I think for now, because again, like this is all going to go upstairs when I am done. So this is only very temporary. You know, this is going to be in that room up there. And then I think we'd move the table back over a little bit. And then we're going to get like a, like some kind of like hutch or something, you know, like one of those real tall cabinets that go right here. She wants one to put like all that Ray Dunn stuff she collects in it. And, you know, it would just look nice to have some nice dishes and, you know, I don't know, little whatever you know you put in those things <laughs> um we're younger so we don't really have all those little trinkets and china and glassware and stuff like that but i think this is what it's gonna be like for now um got stuff everywhere and i'm gonna put that lamp i think probably either right there possibly right no because that would look too cluttered right there yeah, I think I'm just going to throw it over there by that bathroom door. Obviously, none of that's going to be there. So it'll just kind of be like some light back there. And um, actually, now that I think of it, I don't have one of those little, that white, not the hook. I can just unscrew that. But there's a washer up in there because it's not in a stud. Um, so I'll probably have to wait to do that, unfortunately. Because it's going to have to go... Like, right about here-ish. But, I don't know. That's minor stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and get everything cleaned up, and then uh, I'll be back. going to keep it like this. Two shitty things, though. So, there's a plug in the floor. And remember what I was saying about the air conditioner. That plug, like... I don't know what happened. Like, the outlet went bad. It was really old. It was in a, It's in a bad spot. But, I replaced them. And, you know, we never had... I'd never ran the air conditioner again i just cut the cord off and you know we bought new ones but um i replaced the outlets there's a like a 240 volt outlet and then like a regular just you know regular plug like you guys use in the wall and there's like a burnt like i don't know it looks like a burn spot on one of them so now i gotta replace that you know because i'm not gonna plug my expensive computers into that outlet and have a mess up and um of course, there's an outlet or a register under that window, right where that computer arm, like the computer desk leg sits. That's kind of terrible lighting, but you can see the vent. And it's not bad, like it actually sits pretty level still. It's really no big deal. Um, like it fits between, fits between the grates or whatever. So it's, it is what it is. You don't really notice it. Plus, you know, the warm will kind of be nice, you know, on my feet down there. You know, the little bit that's blowing through. Um, but you can see right there, if you can look like on the little 
prong thing. The the plug itself, like the cover is broke, but the prong, there's like a dark spot. I don't know if it's like a burn mark or what, but gotta replace that. And of course to do that, now I gotta turn the power off to the house and it's gonna be dark and gotta reset all the clocks, but oh well, um, definitely. Um, got the new plug in. Um, yeah, sorry it's so grainy, it's cause it's so dark under there. So I cut the cover for this one so they actually fit but this cover was so warped just from being on top of this one for so long that it's still pretty bad so i'll probably go replace it but uh i mean for now everything's good plug the vacuum in and vacuum for a while everything works um it's not warm there were no signs of like anything being wrong it's just i think some liquid got into this or something like that not gonna lie dogs could have had an accident or something i don't really know um, but clearly there was an issue. You can see how it's like deformed and everything. It's a metal box too. So I wonder if like somehow these were like shortened out. So, uh, you know, I made sure everything was screwed down nice and tight with that. That outlet's not moving. It's not going to shift. This one, these screws were like, yeah, even look at these screws. Like they were just like in wood, like side of like in the wood floor, not even holding on to anything. So like this outlet was literally just basically essentially in there like this so anytime you plug something in it was moving around so but i am finally it is 9 33 and i'm finally gonna start hooking this stuff up i'm gonna get my everything on the desk hooked up first and then you know because that's gonna clean up a lot of the clutter and then i will clean the table off dismantle that other desk it'd be cool to go throw it out in the bonfire right now but of course you know it rained and snowed all day so i can't do that and uh yeah i'm gonna start getting cleaned up here finally and if i bump my head on this damn thing one more time this hurts do this thing i keep slamming like i'll get up and slam into it stuff this damn thing hurts it's like 9 30 right now i wanted to get dinner ready and cooking by now so it'd be done when she got home i don't think that's gonna happen unfortunately hopefully i can still get it done though so i'm gonna stop talking here get this stuff hooked up and cleaned up and i'll be back okay so pretty much done um still got a little bit of stuff to organize but overall much better cocoa bean or weird stuff hey what are you doing what about you bailey what are you doing <laughs> like that it's bedtime so here's the desk um ow there you go hit my head on it again it's so nice having a chair that fits under there but uh, I gotta do some cable management. I still got wires all over. Got the computer going. Um, kind of like it there because it hides the power strip and stuff behind it. But got the windows going. Got the Mac over here. And I did find out that this actually does make it a little bit unbalanced. And it bothers me. You can see it's kind of it's lower over here. So. Gotta fix that, but I'm just gonna go buy a new vent cover because these are really thick anyways. Um, still got a little bit of clean to do over here. But it's so nice. It's like having my own little office without being out of the living room, so it's really cool. Um, yeah, so that's about it for now. Downloading Call of Duty. I have Warzone. But... Obviously, I got it on console, and Warzone is free, so I downloaded that first. I've been playing that, but I want to play multiplayer again, and got to rebuy it, so that really sucks, but it is what it is. I've got the Mac over here. I'm going to start editing some videos here soon. Um, Yeah, that's about it. We ended up doing, uh, just making nachos. I didn't realize how late, I mean, I knew how late it was, because I said it in one of the videos, but, like, it didn't really click like holy shit Shelby's almost off work so I was rushing around to try and get everything mostly clean before she got home and it was pretty much done I'm gonna do la lasagna tomorrow but yeah so kind of an eventful day today um hopefully you guys like this vlog that's where I cut it out for now it's again clocks don't work and the uh the one person who pointed out the clock I gotta go buy batteries it bugs me every day I just it's literally, I'm ashamed, ashamed to admit it, but it's been years like that. We've got our uh, 
when we had digital cable, our box used to show the time. We got the stove in here showing the time, the microwave, our phones, you know, our watches, computer. So that thing's been dead for a while. Um, it truthfully doesn't really match, but I thought I just, I wanted a big clock up there and that's the first one I found back when we moved in. So yeah, I'll throw some batteries in there though soon. I promise. So this is actually way faster than it was downloading originally. So Windows being Windows, I've had quite a few issues with the Wi-Fi connection on this computer. Everything else on my network per works perfectly fine except this computer. Um, so I was running it tethered off my iMac with a wired connection. And the speed up until this point was roughly... 10 to 12 megabytes per second so it's been downloading for hours and I switched back to Wi-Fi and it sped up to about 20 to 25 like you see here and I was just getting aggravated aggravated I really wanted to play the game I had been waiting for I had been done we ate Shelby went to bed and I was just ready to play you know it after this long day and putting the stupid desk together and rearranging the downstairs took probably another hour or so after this. I am literally in love with staring at this computer. It's so like, it's got good cable management. A um, few things I would probably change, but the fans are so cool, the lights are cool. Um, the RGB stuff is sweet. It's like eye candy to me. I could literally stare at it all day. In my uh, next update, I have my keyboard, my mouse pad, and my new monitor, so. That's really cool looking. Dude, you guys, I'm so pissed. So, listen to this. Um, this computer has a... Sorry, I'm like so laid back here. This computer has a solid state drive for, you know, like the operating system and, you know, programs and stuff like that. It is... Uh, 240 gig or 250 gig, something like that, I believe. And then a two terabyte hard drive. I downloaded Warzone. Was it was like I think eighty gigabytes or something like that. I was like, it's like the only game I play, so I'm gonna just put that right on the hard on the solid state, so it'll load quicker. Because obviously SSDs are like the fastest possible. Um, I was super excited. I was like, sweet, everything worked out good. So I just bought the whole Modern Warfare game again so I could play multiplayer with my buddies. I'm on Discord. I've been talking to them for like the past two hours. Not playing because I've been waiting for this game to download. So I downloaded it, not even thinking of it, not even thinking nothing about it. And you saw, you know, how far it was and it had been going for like over an hour at that point. I have like a 250 megabyte per second internet connection download speed. But this Blizzard downloader, the highest I've seen is 25. It's ungodly slow. But I'm sitting here like, I literally, I shit you not, I had less than 10 gigabytes to go. And I popped a, a message popped up that I should look into deleting some files off my drive because it's almost full. And I was like, no. So I go to the, the start menu or whatever, like the, the drives. The solid state had like three or four gigabytes free and I still had almost 10 gigabytes to download. I was like, I don't have anything on this computer so there's nothing I can delete. I got about a gig and a half of just random stuff deleted. I was like, there's no way. And I was like, dude, if I have to seriously restart this entire download to put it on the D drive, which is the HD, the hard disk, the two terabyte one, I'm gonna be so pissed off. Like, cause I've been waiting to play all night, you know? Shelby just went to bed, it's now 1.30 in the morning. And I'm like, all I wanna do is play, you know, hour or two of games and then I can go to bed happy, right? So obviously it pops up on uh, Blizzard that the drive is full. And you know that I should delete some data and then it can start downloading again so what I did is I found the game in here and I recreated 
all the folders over here. Basically, so it would be the same exact destination except the D drive instead of the C drive. So I went to my settings over here and changed it to the D drive. And look, it is now continuing the download and I am so freaking happy. I'm not, a, I'm not in the clear yet. Like I'm getting the download done, but hopefully everything patches together fine and I can play. So I don't know how that's gonna go. So we'll see about that here in a few minutes. So um, obviously different shirt, it's a different day here. Um, but I forgot to make the rest of that clip or I deleted it or something, I don't know, but um, the download went good, um, it finished, everything like worked itself together and uh, it plays. So thank God, it's uh, actually a couple days later now. But one thing I did notice was because the all the original like icons were linked with that version on the C drive that every time I try to open one, it would make me search for it. So I deleted those and then just brought it from the D drive. But even still, when I open it, it'll open. It opens the Blizzard game starting thing or whatever. And then it tells me like this, pro this, this file cannot be found or something like that. And I click OK, but then I click play and then it plays perfectly fine. So it's just like a minor annoyance. But I think what I might do just because it is that annoying just to have to you know do that extra step every time i want to play instead of just being able to open it and then let it do its thing um i'm getting ready to go to bed i think i'm going to delete it or uninstall it and then reinstall it right now um that way you know by the time i wake up tomorrow it's you know all done good to go and then everything installed the right way and went smoothly so i think i'm going to do that um but yeah, um, at the point of making this video, my new keyboard and mouse and, or my new keyboard and monitor are here. Um, I won't show you guys too much because it's in my next video, but they are sweet. You guys, I could stare at these all day. They're all like color changing and stuff like to match the computer. I love the setup, like more and more like, I told Shelby we could get rid of the living room TV now. I could just sit here all day. But um, yeah, again, hope everyone's staying safe out there and uh, See you guys tomorrow.